hi again. Um, I discovered a few other things, uh, or put together a few other things to show you. And uh, in the living room, I passed by this. I looked on the video and I thought, oh, I forgot all about this, even though it's setting right up. This is a bell pull I did. It's uh, in cross stitch on linen. Uh, it's, I think, a called Norwegian sampler. But again, if anyone's interested, I will look it up. Um, I did this one. It's all one color, which was just great. And I do have some embellishments on there. I don't know if you can see them. There's a pine cone and there's a couple of uh, pieces of bling. Um, I was studying for an insurance course and uh, I put on tape, uh, I had a little tape cassette recorder, I taped questions and answers and etc. and I played this and I think I had 10 tapes all together over and over and over while I stitched and uh, that helped me to uh, remember things. Um, if I ever take a course again that's exactly what I'm going to do is uh, read into the tape and uh, play it while I'm stitching because uh, I learned well learned and then remembered I think I have a hard time remembering things so at any rate there's that and I do have pieces of hard hanger I've put together, uh, but before I do that, very quickly, uh, this was hanging upstairs. My mother did this one for me specifically, and it is uh, Petty Point, uh, so it's very, very fine. And that all that green, that's all stitched in the background. Tons and tons of stitching. Boy, I wish I could do a real close-up of this because uh, it's a very fine. At any rate, so there you go. She uh, she was quite the stitcher. And my sisters, my nieces, we all have lots of her stitching. She did a lot of it. Okay, on to Hardanger. Um, this piece of weaving that you see on the uh, video right now is, uh, I believe, Pennsylvania. And it's uh, hand-woven. Um, which I purchased down there, so I quite like, I like anything hand done. I had mentioned in the last video that what started me on hard thinking about wanting to do hard hanger was a piece my aunt had made. Uh, this is red even though it looks orange in the video. And this is the piece she had made. Uh, she only ever made one. She sent it to my mother. Um, if you look closely, it's actually very poorly done. Uh, however, it's still... I still love it. Um, I like the red and white. Uh, I like the the effort she put into it. Um, so, and this is the front, even though she's got something here. Uh, at any rate, it's still something I absolutely love, um, and and knew that uh, when I looked at it that uh, this could be quite the uh, the fun thing to make. Okay, so let's see now. Uh, I apologize for shaking. These are two pieces. I made them separately. They're actually, as it turns out, the exact same pattern. Hardanger again. The exact same pattern, but two different counts. Uh, the, this is really more red than it is, uh, like it's showing up orangey or pinky, but it's actually very red. So this one, and then the exact same pattern, but a smaller count here. And I didn't even realize I had done it that. I'd given both of these to my mother, and she pulled it out every Christmas. And when I went to see it, I said, oh, I said, those are the same pattern. I hadn't even thought. Uh, I gave them to her at two separate times. So that's some hard anger. Can we go? I don't know if I can get in close or not. I've got dove size and all sorts of things happening in there. Okay, so those two, and let's see now. This one is on 22 count hardanger, and this is with the Karen watercolors, the variegated. Uh, did I do, I did the, even the um, weaving, the eyelets and the needle weaving I did in uh, Karen water, um, water lilies, I think, if I remember right. Um, so that's a 22 count hardanger, or yeah, 22 count hardanger, 22 count cloth. So I like these patterns uh, that are a little bit differently shaped. 
Uh, let's see now. Then we have this one. This is the second time I made this. The first one I made was in uh, a couple of green colors. And I made it for my son's babysitter. So the, then I loved it so much I decided to make myself one. I chose different colors this time. More the ecru and the off-whites and beiges. Although I did love the greens too. Um, so there's that. Again, I don't know if we can... Let me try to get close here. Someone was saying the dove's eyes. They really didn't like the dove's eyes. I don't know if they ever turn out perfect, but just do them and nobody looks that closely. Well, except for us stitchers, but no matter what what it turns out, well, like, we still admire it. So there's that one. Um, and then I have this one. So these last two I had made in the last few years, most of the stuff before that has been given away. Uh, but this one I decided, that's it, I'm keeping a big one for myself because I have given away big ones before. And this one I kept for myself. It's been folded and put away and that's why uh, it's a little bit still wrinkled. It'll have to be taken care of next time I pull it out. But there you go. This is, this is what I've been doing. Um, absolutely love Hardanger. Uh, well, and cross stitch too. So there we go. And um, there are a couple other little things. So I will show them to you. This one's fairly big. I'll put my hand in there to see see what size it is. Oh, it's hard to. <laughs> At any rate, this one is that Hardanger? No, that's a. Th oh, it is Hardanger. Let me look. Yes, it is Hardanger fabric, I believe. I'll, uh, that's why it's so big. Okay, and then uh, I have a couple other things that I had over here. Uh, oh, and I did have another hard hanger that I had made. Uh, this one was totally experimental. I wanted to see what color it looked like. So I picked out green, pearl cotton, on a 22 count ecru hard hanger. Uh, hopefully you can see that. So, there. It's a tiny piece. That's a little one, the size of my hand. It's not very big at all. Uh, and then other pieces. I have this one. This my mother-in-law gave to me. It's a tablecloth, a small square tablecloth. It looks like, oh, I think this is, hang on a second. It looks like a type of Swedish weaving. I don't completely know exactly what it is. It is hand done. Um, my mother-in-law didn't quite know the history of it, but she thinks it was her aunt or her great aunt who stitched this. And uh, this person, I believe, was a nun, although I'm not sure. So the history is a little bit uncertain of this one, but it's just beautiful. Very intricate stitching. Very, very, very intricate stitching, but all hand done. Um, and it is a, it's a small square tablecloth, so the whole thing is outlined in that. So that's another one. 